wonder if this is what Irving meant by answers. Not sure. But obviously there's a connection here with Umbrella. And that's never a good sign. We can worry about this later. First we need to find out about Jill. You're right. Let's see what we can dig up. Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome back. Umbrella. What do, we ha what do they have to do with this? Welcome back to Resident Evil 5. We found a cave full of flowers. Was Umbrella doing research on these flowers? I believe they were. If my memory serves, the this flower is the uh, it's where the progenitor virus was found or developed from. Is there anything to collect out here? I can't remember. Looks like water purifies. The water is probably for the flowers. You are the big brain, Chris. That is most likely what it was for. Alright, let's do it and investigate. What have we got here? From Chief Researcher Brandon's Journal, number one. 1966. December 4th. Mr. Spencer once spoke of a flower called the Stairway to the Sun. Supposedly, this flower would give the person who consumed it incredible abilities. Everyone thought it was nothing more than a rumour or legend that Mr. Spencer was telling us, but later research would prove us wrong. The first person to recognise the validity of that story was my teacher, Dr. James Marcus. He hypothesised that a virus hereto unknown might exist but could alter DNA. The man was so pers pers perspicuous. I'd, I don't know. I'm, I'm an idiot. His hypothesis turned out to be correct. The virus discovered in that flower was labelled progenitor. For three months in Africa, we worked diligently, fretted over results and staved off Attacks from the that particular group. I can't. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that. After such time, our efforts were finally rewarded. Even Dr. Marcus, who until yesterday looked exhausted, was in good spirits. He wants to return home as soon as possible to de to delve deeper into his research. I feel the same way. I want to learn the secrets of this progenitor virus as soon as possible. 1967, February 12th. We've hit the metaphorical brick wall. We brought the progenitor flower back from Africa and attempted to cultivate it here. The initial culture samples of the progenitor virus have not shown DNA altering characteristics. We cultivated the flower to mass produce the progenitor virus. At first, everything proceeded smoothly and plants were strong and grew quickly. In a short amount of time, they, in a short amount of time, they flowered. But here is when a major problem surfaced. The flowers did not contain the progenitor virus. Perhaps the environment in which they've grown triggers the development of the virus. This matter must be investigated further. March 23. We've made no progress. We've tried cultivating the flower under different conditions, but with no luck in triggering development of the virus itself. Thus far, we have tried changing the soil, water, temperature and light exposure, all with no success. I got into a heated debate with Dr. Marcus about the direction of this research was taking. During the debate, Mr. Spencer interjected some foolhardy notion of starting a company. Without the progenitor virus, there's no point in starting a company. Does he not see that? It's all pointless. Oh dear. Apologies if you can hear laughing in the background, it's my roommate. What have we got here? Ah, Brandon's Journal number 2, 1968. April 15. It's been over a year since we've had any breakthroughs. That's why Dr. Marcus and I have decided to return to Africa. We can no longer continue our research without the progenitor virus. I know those routine attacks by th that tribe are really going to rack my nerves, but for the sake of our research, I will persevere. In the face of my foreseen dismay 
it was Mr. Spencer who provided the answer. If you're worried about the tribe, then we'll just have to remove them from the equation. I can only imagine the look of shock on he, the look of shock on our faces. The idea never occurred to us. It was quite an atypical solution to our problem, but it seemed to be the only option available. Dr. Marcus and I decided to try Mr. Spencer's plan. August 19. Finally, some good news. We learned they were able to chase the Enpidia off the island. I, I guess that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> the land we acquired only amounts to half of those underground ruins, but if it includes the area where the progenitor flowers grow then there should be no issues. Mr Spencer said he plans to, plans to construct research facilities at the site which will expedite our research into the virus. We hastily made our preparations to depart for Africa, but Mr Spencer requested that Dr Marcus stay in Raccoon City to take over the training centre. We were initially taken aback by this request, but we soon realised it was the logical, lo- logical cause of action. Dr. Marcus needs a, a calm environment to properly conduct his research. If he were in Africa, there would be no proper facility for him to use at this time. I just hope the African research facilities get built soon. So now I will go alone to Africa and send back samples of the progenitor virus to Dr. Marcus. Both Dr. Marcus and Mr. Spencer agree this is the best course of action. I have to start making preparations to go. I have a feeling I'll be very busy starting tomorrow. September 29th. I've been in Africa for two weeks now. It's a good thing Dr. Marcus isn't here. This place is far from being a paradise of research and scientific study. The so-called research facilities are nothing more than a bunch of tents and we have to employ armed soldiers to keep the tribe at bay. But the thing that gets gets on my nerves the most is the sound of the construction for the real research facilities. How am I supposed to concentrate on research when everything is threatening to drive me insane? I'm trying to just concentrate on extracting virus samples from the progenitor flower so I can send them to Dr. Marcus. Hopefully, if I focus on my work, I can remain sane in this godforsaken place. 1969. June 15. The research facilities are finally completed. This is the real Umbrella Africa Research Centre, not just some pile of tents. But I've come to a realisation that in the past nine months the facilities are too small for our needs. We need to make them larger, more suitable for research. Then we can fill them with more talented researchers. This place needs to be our front line in our progenitor virus research. Our results will do a great service to Dr Marcus and his viral research. In a rare turn of events, that old skinflint Spencer actually agreed with me on this. Jesus, that was, that was a shelf for files and, ske- and sketches, nothing of use. That was a trog to get through, but this is a law run. Oh, good. Invoice copy. Umbrella, tra- umbrella, <laughs> umbrella training facility, Dr. James Marcus. Five cases of the progenitor sample, December 15th, 1977. Africa Research Centre Director, Brandon Bailey. Yeah. Alright, what's going on in here? I don't know how, but they could be using them to produce biological weapons. I reckon you're right on the money there, Chris. No doubt about it. We're finally getting somewhere. It's those flowers again. Somehow I don't think they are for Mother's Day. Ah, oh, I can't smash them. That's annoying. You don't need a shotgun. You don't need shotgun shells, Sheva. Try sell. An email to an acquaintance. Hey, I know this is sudden, but I'm going to I'm going to be getting some time off soon. We've completed most of our work on the new project. Sorry, you know I can't talk about work. So they're giving us some time off as a reward for all our hard work. All the staff are leaving tomorrow, and we're finally we've, we'll finally be getting out of this country. 
I'm heading straight back to Arizona and I can't wait to get home and see everyone. More than that, I think I'll just be happy to get away from the high and mighty Miguel. Guy thinks he's some sort of super genius. Miguel's a guy that sits next to me at work and he's a good researcher and all, don't get me wrong. He's got some good ideas and is good at noticing details, but every time he opens his mouth he just goes on and on about how great he is. You can't even begin to imagine what torture it is to hear that day in and day out. I wish we, we made a sedative I could give him. But forget all that, what matters is that I should be back home within the next few days. When I get back, I'll give you a call. We've got to go out and get smashed. I could use the break. Talk to you soon, Ryan. Right, there was another one over here. No. Tricell Research, Miguel's Journal number one. February 19th. When I heard it was the laboratory used by Umbrella in Africa, my expectations were raised to say the least. But when I saw it, well, it's a lab in name only. I don't know how Umbrella ever used it, and, and Lord knows how Tricell could possibly have any use for it. The place was abandoned long ago, so there's nothing there of any value to us. Not one piece of lab equipment remains, at least nothing that still works. I can't say I'm surprised because I half expected this. Anyway, the important thing is the progenitor virus. If we didn't need that virus for our research, there would have been no need to come, this work, to, come to this rundown umbrella facility anyway. We already have samples of the T virus, the G virus, the T Veronica virus, and even the Las Plagas parasite. We have everything we need for our research. We just didn't have that if we just didn't have that damn progenitor virus. But we finally got our hands on it. Hopefully this will give us that much needed breakthrough in our research. I can't wait to start working on it. March 7. I wonder who came up with the name Licker for those creatures. I mean, when you see its long tongue, you just know that it's the perfect name. That was some police officers in the Raccoon City Police Department. They came up with the name. But for researchers like me, BOWs like Lickers are just a pain in the ass. If I said liquors were too perfect, I'd probably be going too far in my praise. But they're pretty much an evolutionary dead end. There's no room left for improvement. BOWs that were created using the T-virus don't seem to show much improvement when the progenitor virus is administered. I mean, their abilities show some slight improvements, for example. For example, their sense of smell seems more or less improved. But that's all they've got so far. They're still blind and as still as blind as an old lady and they're ugly as shit. The biggest jump in their evolution seems to be their ability to reproduce. I hate when things don't go according to plan, but since there's still a demand for liquors on the BOW market, I guess things aren't all that bad. Cool. Mass produced liquors. That's not going to come back and bite you in the ass, is it? See? Hold you. I recognise those claw marks anywhere. More, shot, more shotty shells. Thank you. You're locked. Looks like it was torn apart by animals. Not not a good way to go. No. Right. Right, I can't see anything to pick up. Careful. I saw something. Yep, so did I. Yeah, it's a goat. Some kind of big rat. Even bigger rat. Rat with horns. A barky rat. Another rat with horns.
a rat with claws. Whoa, whoa, what? Jesus. It took a lot of shells. Take it. Okay. Anything in here? There's a door. Thankfully the liquor's not smart enough to undo valves. There we go. We got here. Oh, oh, oh sorry, Shiva, that's mine. So this is the monitor room. All the monitors are off, though. All right. Anything else? No. Nothing behind the boxes. Thank God okay. there weren't more of them. Yeah, we wouldn't last in a fight with a whole horde. Why'd you say that? Because there's going to be more. See? Look. A horde of them. What'd you open your mouth for? Blind, but they're not death. Death, rather. I was never all that keen on these liquors that in their design. The one in the remake. Now that perfection. Damn it! They heard us. Of course they did. get behind us. Did we get them all? Uh, right. I need ammo. Use this. Much appreciated. There we go. We're all held up. Come on, forget it. Right. Just probably should have done that from the start. Fucking 
fuck? God fucking damn it. Get off. Right, screw this. Full. Shit. Um. I need ammo. Use this. Thanks for the help. And then we put you in there. Then I can pick up the shotgun shells. Thank you very much. all over the world to experiment on. It stopped. <laughs> Why? Well, that's why. Oh, good. I don't have the ammo for this. Can you stay still while I shoot you? Go. Okay, so that that's the strap. That is the strap. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, why? Down again. Why did you move? Stop moving, you fat bastard. Oh, fucking damn it. Do I have a grenade? Yes! Right, I need to change weapons. Can you stop running around? Okay, I pressed X to dodge. Oh, God damn it, I hate this. Make your mind up about which way you want to go. Stop. Right. Shotgun shells. Hit the square.
Right, remove that. Give that to Shava. Remove. Give that to me. Remove that and take that. No. All right. Apparently, I don't have am ammo for for this, but I'm pretty sure I put it in. my grenades that would have been useful down again yes some grenades down Have another one. yes right Kate okay. we're now back to where we were I hate this fucking boss. Right, remove. Grenade. I'll have that grenade. Flash rounds. Oh, I have to... Co oh, what? I have to reload that manually? Right, I'll take the flame rounds as well. Just as well, I actually saved all these. Uh, right. Got some treasures to sell. Okay, let's sell these. Uh, 
Give those to Sheva so she's got some ammo. Right. That can't be upgraded. This can, so let's upgrade this some more. Capacity. Right, that's done. That's done. So it's. Right, shotgun is upgraded to as far as I can do for now. Uh, right, let's try again. No, we've done that. Go. All right, he's down again. Much quicker this time. Right, so he's gonna do his thing again, looks like it. Dodged! Fuck you! Chevy, you're in the way! Right, now he's bringing out his little fly things. Could you stop moving? Where's he gone? Oh, you fat bastard! Stop moving! Yes! Just die already. Yes, please! Oh, good, the rule of three applies. Oh, God, I hated that. I completely forgot that was a boss. Here we go, Jill's container. Empty. And the mystery thickens. Oh god, another disgusting C rank. Ugh. 
Highly surprising. I completely forgot that boss was a thing. U8, I'm guessing that's what the big spider thing was. But anyway, that time has come upon us once again. I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Resident Evil 5, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.